Despite having played TDS for years, I haven't actually bought everything in the game. I'm missing 7 emotes and 1 crate for my inventory, which all in all entails the cost of about 12,000 coins. So I decided to grind out the money and get these last items. For these games, I brought the loadout of Farm, Gladiator, Gold Minigunner, Commander, and DJ. An overall strong but balanced loadout. For the first game, things started out bizarrely, as I experienced a glitch I have never seen before. Towers all stood in default positions and I was unable to place any towers. This placed a lot of strain on my teammates, and after some back and forth, one of them sold all his towers and left, unfortunately ending the first run in a loss as I was unable to do anything. Next, I got into a quad op fallen game and as I was now actually able to place towers, things went much smoother. My teammates brought a lot of minigunners and medics, and thanks to the length of the path on 4 seasons, we had enough power to kill the fallen king, winning the first run of the challenge. For the next game, my team unfortunately picked multi mode, meaning I got less coins when we once again triumphed. The next game was different however, as I teamed with high level players. We were all able to farm heavily in the early game and then place a huge amount of towers in the late game. We ended up spawn killing most zombies and melting the fallen king in a quick run of just under 17 minutes. At this point I now had about 2500 coins due to starting the challenge with about 500 and this let me buy two of the more expensive emotes. Before moving on to a relaxing game on autumn fallen molten mode. However two of my teammates did leave halfway through and in the end it was only me and the lower level player who got the triumph reward. I then got another multi game on four seasons and witnessed an unprecedented the amount of ace pilots, and with two more players than the previous run, it was an even easier win. I once again used the coins to buy another emo, and then decided to go for a Mega Badlands game. And after waiting about 6 minutes in real time, with a swarm of about 15 other people, I barely managed to get in the game. I got to see the new cowboy modifier, which is pretty goofy, however Badlands being Badlands, things did not go well. Even though the lobby was full of experienced players, we were struggling even in the mid game, and although we did manage to reach the final wave, our towers were too split up and the pass was too short, causing us to lose, but the coins I had earned were enough to buy yet another cheap emote. I then had two fallen runs of contrasting success. The first run went very well, a full 4 player game with towers like Ranger, Millie Base, and lots of minis, which gave us a quick triumph. The other game however went very poorly. It was a full 6 player mega game, however half of the lobby quickly left, and one of the remaining players went AFK, essentially turning it into a duo game, but one where the tower limit was that of megas. Somehow we managed to reach the final wave, but with only being able able to play so few towers, we ended up losing not even to the Fallen King, but rather one of the weak guardians he spawns. I then played a fairly uneventful molten round of 4 seasons before getting into a Fallen game on Fungi Island. The team was overall pretty low level, but we actually did surprisingly well. I focused on the front while my teammates held down the back with a huge variety of blue towers. But things started to go downhill when one of my teammates took all of the ground space for ace pilots. However, this caused me to find that you can actually stack on this map, which I did to optimize the little space remaining. On the final wave we got the Fallen King down to about 50,000 health, but we did end up losing. And I was once again able to buy two more emotes, which meant I only had to buy one more emo and a crate to finish the challenge. I went to a 4 player harbor game, however my internet was so bad that by the time I loaded in, my whole team had left. One person had placed an ace pilot though, and that let me farm more heavily in the early game, and in turn actually let me get the solo molten win. I then duoed the molten game on crossroads, and with my teammate having minis and rangers, it was a pretty simple win. I had more coins this Point, so I decided to try some more Fallen. My teammates were pretty excited, but the towers we had collectively weren't great, and in combination with the map's short path, we lost by a pretty big margin. However, this left me only 70 coins away from the last emo, so I just formed a quick loss to get enough coins to purchase that final emo, meaning I only had to get a toy crate. I do have all three toy skins, but unlike other crates, I didn't have an extra to keep in my inventory, meaning I had to get one. At this point, I'd spent about 6 hours on this challenge, and pretty much had my gameplay strategy down. So these last games I went by fairly quickly quickly as I got 3 more fallen triumphs and farmed 2 quick losses, leading into one final game on Abyssal Trench. Like Badlands, this map also has a unique modifier in Scooby Gear, which adds these diver helmets to the zombies. The game seemed to be going well, and with accelerators, minigunners, and rangers, the win seemed almost guaranteed. However, I had to go AFK in wave 37 before I was able to place my full amount of minigunners, which meant I had to fully trust that my teammates could close out the last 3 waves and get me the triumph I needed to finish the challenge. And when I returned, I saw that, they had actually done it. In a 26 minute run, I earned the last 700 coins I needed while not even playing, so I returned to the lobby and bought the toy crate, officially finishing the challenge. This took over 8 hours of grinding, so please subscribe.